So up next, it is the pool decider for Pool B here in Sevilla. Argentina and Ireland. As I mentioned, Ireland last week, three wins in their pool, first time ever, and they've got two so far in Sevilla. So they're looking to match it up. But the Argentinians know they will want to win this pool to get a better draw in the cup quarterfinals. And they've been in really exceptional form in Spain here. In fact, they've medaled in every event so far. Santiago Alvarez will lead the side. Brian Mullen will lead out the Irish boys who are really feeling very confident, Ollie. Yeah, they really are. It's, I'm really excited about this game. Both sides so potent. Interesting that they've left the current World Sevens Player of the Year on the bench. Marcos Moneta. Either that's impact or maybe injury, but either way, this is a big game for Argentina. You want to finish top of your group. Keep everyone full of confidence going into that cup quarter. Jeremy Rosier in the middle with the whistle. Captain. Ashley experience. And I don't see Manetta dress because he is a danger man, and I would be very surprised yeah, if Santiago Gomez Cora didn't start him on a tactical move. So, Argentina in their traditional blue and white kicking off. Out and gather possession. This will be a physical affair. Ireland side to side asking questions here. But as we saw last week in particular, the Argentinians so confident in their defense. They stay connected. This is very rare, the gaps. That one spilled loose and they get their reward for that patient defense. Now Argentina off and running. Right through the middle, good support in from Del Mestre. But they've lost it. On the breakdown is an absolute dogfight here, isn't it, Gareth, at the moment? But twice now, Ireland coughing the ball up through handling errors. And they just cannot afford to do that against Argentina. They will attack every single opportunity they can. There's the fan. Oh, I think he's injured. He's had to offload there, even though he got Hail. through. That was Bazan Velez. I told he's okay. He's still down on the field, so six Argentinians in attack. Looks like Bazan Velez has done his hamstring, so Argentina down to six. Alvarez gets halfway through. They're keeping it alive. Off, yeah, yeah. Out. Gonzalez. Well, the wind's swirling up in the stadium. Still only six Argentinians. Oh, and they're going to get the sub because they've scored. The Rivera foul, the 20-year-old, gets Argentina's first try of this crucial match. Really nice, patient play from Argentina, even though they get a man down injured. They understand how to use the ball effectively, pushing it into space, stretching this Irish defence. Eventually they crack. It's all about running at arms and spaces and cribbing. He just can't hold on there. As Vellefeld goes through for the first one. Conversion's good. And Argentina make an early statement here through Vellefeld. They're up seven points to nil. Of course, Argentina, you see Alvarez there off to the bench. He may be done. Didn't look particularly comfortable. Argentina currently second on the series with 53 points. 13 behind South Africa. It's a thrilling final last week in Malaga. But South Africa won. That kick is perfectly placed. And it's won by De La Vega in the air. And Argentina, sorry, Ireland penalized for not rolling away. Interesting there, Jeremy Rosier ruling in the favor of Argentina taking that ball, considering them the attacking force. For me, it felt like a bit of a 50 50. Either way, Argentina don't care. Momentum again in the Irish half. That is a huge hit as well. I think Smith is not in good shape there. The two players down for Ireland. Surprised maybe the referee didn't stop it there. Spilled ball and we're going to have an unfortunate incident here. There's two Irish players down. That was a big collision. I think it might have been a head-on-head. 
So they're all going for that ball. Okay. Players through it, putting everything onto the line. Yeah. And there we go. I think Jeremy Rossi's just realised the seriousness of this. There's Gonzalez. The 24 year old's been really impressive. Vastly experienced. And there's the danger man for Ireland. We've yet to see him with his hands on the ball, really. Terry Kennedy. And those offloads there for Argentina. Just indicating the confidence they have to keep the play going. Yeah, but the critical stats that one there for me, the handling errors. I know it's only two to one, but both times Argentina have made Ireland pay for it. Look at the passes made so far. Argentina 19 to Ireland 6. Just shows you how much Argentina have had the ball. I don't think we've really, really even seen Ireland in their half yet. And that is the sort of pressure that they put on you. They squeeze you, they frustrate you, and they're so aggressive at the breakdown. Really impressive side, this Argentinian team. So well coached by Santiago Gomez Cora. Yeah, and you saw the Irish tackle stats there. Their missed tackles has been an issue for them. 8.2 missed tackles a game, one of the highest. And they'll be looking at that. And that is signs of things to come. South Africa and USA. That's uh, a pool decider as well for pool A. A long way from last night when USA just stole the match against the host Spain at the desk through Carlin Isles. Wow, they're such a good team, aren't they? Not only their hairdo's fantastic, but their rugby's pretty special too. To see one of them back on their feet now, it's great to see Andrew Smith up, walking around, probably a bit dazed. Yeah, just an awkward collision there. It's interesting, the South Africans and the Americans, because of the bye in their pool, have to play one last game, and the Argentines were very... Uh, vocal about it shall we say suggesting that it's a little bit less wear and tear on both the US and South Africa it was done through the, the pool draw format but uh, they had a little bit of a grumble and uh, probably were justified but they've been impressive in this match early try again good retention we've talked about it immediate support and then there's options all playing with their head up they can all do the damage and this time the show and go Verafeld what I love about that try there, Gareth. Very much, he's just looking at shoulders, all about body angles. What Ireland doing? Have they? The moment you see them turn their shoulders away, that's when you you step back. You know they've overcommitted. Really good stuff. Really good spot from Verifel. Yeah, so much work done on the defensive side of the ball. With this, not only do they have to stay aligned, seven men guarding the full width of the field. But your shape so important in defense, and that's another good sign on his feet. Yeah. Just an unfortunate clash of heads, isn't it, Gareth? Bit of blood coming out the top there, but let's hope. Their captain, Brian Mullins, okay. It's really important for this Irish team. Yeah, Mullins did well right now. Ireland will have the put in Crouch. halfway through this first half. Lines. Pool decider, as we said. Shit. Here in Pool B, Ireland have the chance deep in their own end. And there is Kennedy for the first time. He draws the defense, gets it to Connor Phillips. They go right to the sideline. We'll see what they find coming back. Steps out of one tackle. There's now Comerford. Real pressure, the Fiji under the legs pass. Phillips decides I gotta get back and feel where my support is, and he recycles. Again, Argentina flying up in the midfield, this time through De La Vega, taking the space and the time away from the Irish, and they've been penalized. It's their energy, isn't it? Just how fast they are up, their line speed, just suffocate teams. And they're turning that defense into attack. Right here, pounding away, Schultz. Lots of talk here, you hear the Spanish. They're organized, they know what they want. They're very disciplined. Santiago Gomez Cora, the coach, uh, 
has a great mind for the sevens game, but he's also got some great generals out there in the likes of Schultz and Alvarez. Yes, Haven't even seen Gaston Revol on the pitch yet, and he's one of the great minds of sevens rugby. Catch and give required, it's delivered. Can he get there? De La Vega has got enough space into the corner in the end. Excellent skill execution. And Argentina scores. Really good patience from Argentina. Look at the depth they've got here. Forcing Ireland to make mistakes. The mistake comes. He blitzes out of the line. Raval is just too experienced. Just gives it that extra set, gives himself that extra second to make the pass. In the end, it's easy for De La Vega. But that is what comes from just being patient with the ball and stretching the opposition. Well, doesn't that sum up the 35-year-old Gaston Merval? Just a legend in Argentinian sevens rugby, but he's come on the pitch off the bench. One deft touch, a catch and pass in that instance, and he's really doubled the gap over the Irish right now. La Vega's having a nice one here in the first half. Two tries. Ireland will need something. Phillips has got his hands on it off the kickoff. They go direct through Roche. Argentina have hands on it, but they have to release. Again, very limited width to the Irish game. At the moment, that's good footwork. They've created the space. Do they have the pace to finish? Off and running goes Phillips. And hasn't he done well? Really good work. And we talked about the width. They found the width and they scored. They have, but you need a bit of magic occasionally, Gareth. And this comes from Mark Roach. How about this? Plants the feet in out. Boom. Absolutely stands up, Gonzalez on the spot the moment he sees the shoulders turn in from the last defender he pushes it into Connor Phillips's hands and then it's a foot race to the finish as a brilliant try comes from phenomenal work and phenomenal footwork from Mark Roach well the 22 year old will take that all day long and you're right they literally couldn't put a hand on him it was that good a step so half time here Argentina 12, Ireland 7. Well, unique insight into the huddles here. As we said, an Irish side that has been playing really well. Lots of possession for the Irish, but only the one try to show for it. Push them down to the touch line, and then that touch line to get up and get to the next phase, yeah? All right, I'm just keeping this game. Keeping There's this Roche game. leading the discussions. So it's the last fucking minute, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Apologies with any foul language, but it is one of the unique elements of the HSBC World Series that we get to see in these huddles. Well, the Argies have it closed off at the moment. Santiago Gomez Cora delivering his instructions. Nolly, what a final last week against South Africa for the Argentinians. Oh, they were so close as well. They played with a, an intensity that was magical to see. And at times, South Africa just couldn't live with them. As we've grown accustomed to see so far, South Africa can weather any storm. And the moment they come out of it, they hoist up the sails and they are absolutely gunning for you. It was a cracking final. Let's hope for more of the same out here in Sevilla. Lots of Irish support. I wonder if they've all come over from Bado and a few of the places down here. Gareth, this is pretty critical off the restart now. Ireland scoring just before half time. If they can take this restart, score again, it'll feel like all the momentum's with them and Argentina will be under pressure. Here we go, Ireland down by five points. Need a win to top the pool here. Oh, a good shoulder barge there, but it's been knocked on by Ireland. Scrum to Argentina. It's close, wasn't it? So close to getting that restart. They know it, they know the importance of it. Scrum. 
Yeah, not much in this. Ooh, I guess it was the second one. As it came off his face, it went forward off his hands. Look at that, good old football shoulder charge. I think that actually came off Gonzalez first. I think he bats it into him. Referee misses that one. Argentina be pleased about that one. Revol at the base, puts it in. The scrappy scrum and they've lost it. Play on to the ref. In fact, advantage. Beautiful stepping from Kennedy. It's very rare that he gets put down. And that one's been put into space. Good work, Phillips again. He's two meters short, he pops it up. And Kennedy's there. Well, what a pass from Kennedy, but what a finish as well to get there in support. Well, the man starts it and he finishes it. It's Kennedy that reacts the first and the fastest. How about that for a pass? 25, 30 meters. Phillips races for the line and then has the presence of mind just to lift it back inside. And who's there? The man that started it all. What a start. What stuff from Terry Kennedy. And I'll just talk about that pass. The pass pushed him away from the defender and put him into space. That's really what created this try. Yeah, he just sees the opportunity. The pass is on point, forces him wide. The, the defense gets stretched. And then Kennedy just sweeps up on the inside. Well, crucially, the extras are not added. So we're all level here. Five minutes to play. The winner takes Pool B. Both these teams through to the final eight here in Sevilla. And we'll be cup quarter finalists, but who's going to have the easier draw? Show and go from Hamann Schultz. He's so strong on the ball, so disciplined. Iskro running across the defense, the ball's in one hand, just holds on to it and revolves there immediately, but the supporting Argentinian players off their feet. It's a good call there from Jeremy Rosier. So difficult to referee this breakdown, and Santiago Gomez Coro there, the head coach, looking on, he'll be disappointed, just at the lack of accuracy that they've shown around the breakdown. Well, you'd have given him a few passes for some of those... Dan Norton tries, but uh, Cora is still on the all-time leading list. Of course, good to see Danny Norton here in Spain, supporting the Seven Series. Yeah, well, he's bringing on at the moment Santiago Gomez Cora, a man who could potentially challenge for his try-scoring tally. World Player of the Year, Marcos Moneta. He's been saved until now. This man is electric when he's on a rugby field. And three. Free green, free yeah, green. interesting decision. So he is fit, presumably, but maybe a little bit of desperation here, but having to use him as this game is all level with four minutes to play. Yeah, it does make you wonder, but his tactics, right? Maybe just looking at the front of Ireland. Could be just a little bit heavy on their feet. All the stats there showing he's been fairly even. 17, 16 carries each. Can some Moneta magic win the game for them? Well executed line out from Ireland. And Mineta's going to have to defend here. Kennedy, as he does all the time, just steps out of several tackles. Roche takes it up tight. Well, good organization. There's options here for Ireland. An overlap. The inside ball, the blind pass to Kelly. But they're brought down. Again, Kennedy happy as first receiver to try and set something up. Good step there from Kearns. He's still going. Kenny doesn't have much room to work in. Oh, he does well to create it, but it doesn't go to hand. Now it's Argentina's turn. Off they go. Revo. Desperation stuff. Hamon Schultz drops it, but it goes backwards. Again, the ball's in one hand. Frantic stuff. This time the chip and chase is going to get a bounce. He does. Does he have the pace? That is Vanetta with pure individual brilliance. This is why I've been brought on the field. Marcos Maneta, the go-ahead try for Argentina. Well, it comes from a turnover from the Irish. They do so well. How about that for an offload? They get within two meters of the Argentinian line. And then we talked about him coming on. Some Maneta magic. How about that for a touch? It's Messi-esque. I think Lionel Moneta could be his new name. 
he's got pace to burn too. What a finish. Moment of individual brilliance from him. Well, he shares a crown with you, World Rugby Sevens Player of the Year, and you can see why. Utter confidence. I'd have only loved to have had footballing prowess <laughs> like that, Gareth, and set it up for nothing. Here comes the conversion, and it's good. Del Mestre, crucially, taking that gap to seven points. Ireland with the ball. Two minutes to create something. You can't afford to turn it over, as you noted on the last build-up. Anthony Eddy will want to see his team ask questions of the Argentinians. For the moment, there's a man down. The East is not looking very good. So only six Argentinian defenders. Immediately on the ball was Rival, and he's won the penalty. Wow, that's a tough call for me there. Rival falls off his feet. I don't know that. Either way, doesn't matter what I think. Jeremy Ruggier has made the call. Well, that was so crucial because Ireland had the ball, and because of this injury, Iskro was off his feet and out of the play. You want to do a sub yeah, they'd have been playing with six players. Really, with a minute ten on the clock, Ireland needed a converted try just to level it up. And it's worth pointing out, even if it's a tie at the end of this, Argentina will still top the groups. So they've got the better points difference. You ready? So Ireland really need two tries or at least a converted try and a, convert, a penalty kick or something like that. So as a captain, what do you say to the Irish? They need the ball back immediately and they need two scores effectively. Yeah, really, you just got to throw the kitchen sink in it now. You want to put pressure on Argentina. If you want to go for the win, get hungry. And there's the penalty. That's what you need. Yes, extra So penalised for the extra roll with the ball. On me, 10. Taking their time about this, and I wonder if the messages on the field, presumably they started knowing that points difference wasn't in their favour. They're going for territory. They're just going to try and ping this down. But, I mean, you're right. You want to see some urgency from them here. They've got to score within at least the next 20 seconds in order to have a shot just coming back for the restart. There it is. I think they just realised it. Maybe got a note from the bench as Kern sprints to throw the ball in. Well, I know it's been good from Ireland. I don't want to jinx it. Yeah, they've lost it. Of course they have. <laughs> there it is, Gareth. <laughs> Commentator's curse. Well, again, ball in one hand. Sabato. On. Wisely stays on the park. The troops arrive. The seconds wind down. The hooter sounds. And Alvarez can nudge it into the stands. And a hard-fought match. But Pool B here in Sevilla will go to the Argentinians. We win this one, 19 points to 12. Yeah, the fans like it. Maybe not as convincing as, as we thought, Ollie, but uh, an impressive performance nonetheless. Yeah, very true, but it took a moment of magic, didn't it really, to separate these two teams. It came from Mineta, the best player in the world at the moment. It was a fitting try he scored too. Magical footwork, lovely little deft touch with his feet, and then the pace to finish it off.